Hello and welcome, my name is Chris Hughes from whoschrishughes.com. In this video, I wanna to talk to you about something called the minimum effective dose. And what this is, is the smallest dose that will produce a desired outcome. Anything that is beyond the minimum effective dose is wasteful. I'm gonna share with you why doing the minimum effective dose is gonna save you time in your business. Let's use an example here. To boil water, the minimum effective dose is 212 degrees Fahrenheit. Once the water is boiled, it can't get any more boiled. If you use a higher temperature, it's just gonna consume more resources and ultimately waste time. It's frustrating to think that going beyond the minimum effective dose is gonna produce you better results, when in reality, the results won't jeopardize the time invested on your part. When you were a child growing up, your parents probably told you that you needed to work hard to succeed. This still is the truth, but often now in the information age, you need to work smarter and not necessarily harder. With business, what I've found is 20% of my effort has often yielded 80% of my best results. And the same is true for my clients. By focusing on the 20% instead of the 80%, we're able to eliminate a lot of the wasted time and effort. What this does for my clients is it frees up time for them so that they can spend time with friends and family, just like you ultimately want to do. The minimum effective dose goes along with the idea of deliberate practice. And I recorded a video about deliberate practice labeled the secret of deliberate practice, which you can learn about, more about by clicking the link below. A huge problem that I came across after learning about the minimum effective dose is that I've wanted to do more. I've had to resist the temptation to do more because ultimately doing more does not produce any more results. Now I want to give you an exercise to try out this week to see what happens when you start to eliminate some work and free up time so you can spend it with your friends and family. If this sounds like something good for you, here's what it is. For the next week, try to map out your schedule in 30 minute increments. Make a note about what you've accomplished over the past 30 minutes after it's done. At the end of the day, look over the whole day's hour, hour by hour of your actual work day and recognize where you were actually doing things that produce results versus doing things that you thought were producing results. Now I'd love to hear your comments, so try this and let me know what you experienced using this technique or let me know what other techniques you've used to eliminate some of your work. I hope you have a great day and I look forward to seeing you again in another video.